Hi, my name is Annie, an accountant, and today I'm gonna tell you the time I really regret lying. In the entire student life at my secondary and high school, I was always bullied because my family was not really well off. Some deliberately violated the school rules and then blamed me for that wrong deed, even though I was innocent. Some took my stuff and threw it into the trash can. Some even cursed me that I should go to hell. I felt so sad and fuming mad at the same time as I did nothing. Why did I have to accept all those bitter and cruel words? And to me, that was the worst nightmare as it made me feel inferior, and I literally had no friends at all. When I graduated high school and went to university, I was truly happy because this could be a new beginning, a new page of my life. I even drew myself the picture of how happy I could be when I was able to leave the dark past behind and make many new friends. That's why on the first day of school, I made a serious mistake. That every single time I think about it, I just feel terribly regretful. On that day, when I got into the classroom and was looking for a seat, a group of three girls caught my attention. Wow, they're so beautiful and outstanding. That was the first thought that came to my mind. When I approached them and asked if I could sit next to them, to my surprise, they were all very friendly and enthusiastically invited me to sit with them. And I thought that I had a good start, and I and they could be good friends later on. However, when I saw their latest iPhones and luxurious clothes from Chanel and stuff, I started to get really nervous. If they knew that my family wasn't as rich as theirs, and I went to this uni thanks to the city subsidy, could they still want to be friends with me? Could they bully me like my classmates in high school did? When I was frightened by my thoughts. Coda, one of the three girls, asked me where I went for the summer vacation, and started to talk about her trip to Africa for charity. When I had not pulled myself together yet, Coda suddenly asked if I had been to Europe, since she was planning to go there for the next holiday. For some reason, my mind went blank. If I said no, would she look down on me? To be honest, I really liked Coda and the other two girls. And I don't want to be besties with them. That's why I lied. I told Coda that I had gone to Europe two years ago for my winter break, and acted as my family was quite wealthy. And that's when everything went wrong. Since then, we talked a lot and gradually became closer. They asked me out a lot, but I had to refuse and lied to them that my parents were very strict, and they didn't want me to go out much. But in fact, the real reason was that I could not afford it. That was when I decided that I needed a part-time job, because if I kept saying no every time they invited me, they could suspect. After searching for quite a while, I registered to work at a restaurant in my neighborhood. However, a student like me was only allowed to work for three days a week, and of course, that was not enough. Therefore, I found another job to do at the weekends. I accidentally found a post on the internet about a family finding a babysitter, and contacted that family immediately. I only had to work on Sundays, and the salary was very high, so I felt quite lucky. However, my parents did not know that I did two jobs at the same time, so when I went to work, I liked that I went to school to study with my friends. On my first day at work, when I arrived at that house, I was totally shocked because of the splendor of it. I thought the owner of that house must be very rich. When I was talking with the kid's mom about my duties during the day, she suddenly got a phone call. She went to her room to answer it and left me alone in the living room. Meanwhile. I looked around the room, and I was fascinated by the gold watch placed above the piano in the corner of the room. For a moment, I did think about stealing it. I thought that I could then resell it and have a huge amount of money without working this hard. After hesitating for a moment, I approached the piano. What then caught my attention was actually a photo frame right next to the watch. 
It was a picture of their family, and I saw a familiar face. Oh my God, that was Jen, the girl sitting right in front of me at school. So it turned out that that place were her house. I was panicked, afraid that someone could find out that I was about to steal the watch, and more importantly, I was afraid that Jen could figure out my lie. I was worried to death, but luckily Jen was not home that day. But I still decided to quit the job right after the first day. I tried to break off the contact with the mother by blocking her number, and hope that we will never come across again. After that incident, I thought that I and my lie were safe, but actually, a lie is still a lie, and it will never come true. So obviously, it will be busted one day. One evening, when I was preparing to go to work at the restaurant, Koda and the girls texted me and asked me to hang out with them. Although I really wanted to, I said no. After informing the chef of the orders, when I walked out to the reception desk, I saw Koda and the girls entering the restaurant. You know what? At that time, I was so scared that my hands was trembling real hard, and I sweated pockets. At that moment, I noticed that the restaurant back door, the one that was always locked, was suddenly opened. I had no other choice but to go straight to it to get away from their sight. However, unfortunately, Koda saw me and called me back. She even blamed me for telling her that I was busy and I could not go with them. Until they found out that I was wearing the restaurant uniform, they were at a loss for words. After a while, they decided to sit down and talk to me. They said that they were very sad as I lied to them all the time, and they liked me for my personality, not because I had been to Europe or because my family was rich. They could not understand why I did that. I then poured my heart to them and told them the truth. I actually did not plan to do it. I was so panicked that the trauma from high school just made me feel inferior when talking to others. After hearing my sincere words. They hugged me, and we cried a lot. Ever since, we got to know each other much better, and continue to be friends until now. They have always been there for me, from the time that I was in many difficulties to now, when I already have a stable job. So, from my story, I hope that you will always be yourself, and never make such a terrible lie like I did. And that's my story. If you like it, you can share and like it. And you can send your story to this channel. They will make it into a story like mine. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.